Evil Empire, laughing all the way to the guys 112 here and uh, I'm shooting this real late at night this is like my last video and then I'm going to sleep I've been going since uh, 7 o'clock this morning making sure that I was uh, up and punctual and ready to go for Mython's unscheduled stream that he kindly asked me if I wanted to uh, be on uh, weeks in advance um, and, um, of course I happily obliged and we had a lot of fun with that. Uh, and then after I got off with him, I went to Target to see if they had anything, didn't have anything. Went to Marshalls, didn't have anything. And then I went to my old reliable, which is this little store. Uh, well, it's not a little store, depending on where it is in your area if you have one uh it's called daiso it's a japanese store um or a japanese goods store kind of like a dollar tree um where all the stuff in it is japanese instead of american stuff uh and everything is priced in yen instead of usd um and everything ranges from like a dollar I mean like a dollar fifty dollar 75 maybe all the way up to like ten dollars um and they have a selection of 112 scale miniature stuff um now granted depending on where you're located and what store you have you may get a small little area or you may get a gigantic uh area that's just filled with stuff um the one that I've been going to on and off for the past three months, or I guess the three that I've been going to on and off for the past three months, they were kind of small to medium sized. Um, and they didn't really have that much stuff. They had stuff like this. These, these chairs right here, these are actually phone stands is what they're advertised as, but they fit and they work as one twelfth scale chairs. Um, stuff like that little nightstand there um these little items like this uh this little pallet this little pallet uh mover um stuff like this this tv stand uh where you can actually take the the drawers out and put stuff in it and put a TV on it. Um, those come in different colors, again, depending on your store. Um, and these mic stands, these, these little microphones with the mic stands. Um, you could actually take that out, you could have a 112 scale figure hold that, that microphone. Um, but I um, I went today and they had all this shit that you see right behind you and this was all $1.75 each so I spent probably about maybe 40 bucks um, and I made two trips yesterday <laughs> to, that, to that specific Daiso I walked away twice um one with the majority of the stuff and the other was a little bit extra stuff but um anyway i'm gonna show this stuff to you so the first thing i'm gonna start with is this beanbag chair this is a 112 skill beanbag chair i've been wanting one of these um i've been wanting a beanbag chair to use for photography um and uh, i could never find one uh you go on etsy they cost too much um and the only other option is a 3D printed one, but that looks more like a trash bag whenever you paint it and it looks weird. Um, so I went to Daiso and surprised I found a fucking 112 scale beanbag chair. 
I was like, no way. I'm yeah, I'm going home with that. So, um, I found these chairs. You can see all those all those chairs there. Um, they kind of look like school chairs or office chairs, um, or kind of like restaurant chairs. They had a uh, like actual kitchen uh, dining room chairs, um, but they didn't have ones in a color in the same color to where I could match four of them um they either had like one or two or three and I was like that kind of looks stupid why am I gonna get why am I gonna get um what's it called like why am I gonna need a fucking like three-fourths of a full set of chairs if they don't match so I got those ones um and they're nice. I think they might fit Figma figures more than a one tall scale. Um, but they do say one tall scale on the back, so. See it right there? It says one tall scale, so. I'm curious. Uh, like I said, they had this. They had a bunch of these dining tables. Um, which are great. See, when you look down there, there's. You get a set of the chair. They sell the chairs, the little uh, table plant, um, and the little coffee cup. And see, they are made in Japan, so. Um, they had this, which is kind of like a little coffee table. Or maybe it's a. Um, like a stool that you could sit on. Um. That's also one twelfth. You can tell because it says one twelfth back there. Um, what the actual thing is, I have no idea. I don't. I don't read Japanese. Um, I'm not fluent in Japanese, so I'm not too sure. Um, these they had these. These are like um, like cubic organizers, and they had them in white. They didn't have them in another color, so I grabbed them. They only had two, so I grabbed what they had. Um, they had these two. I've never seen these before. I've seen them in Mox, aka Me Toys. His, uh, his shorts that he does for Instagram and his, uh, his YouTube shorts when he goes to Daiso. Um, and I've seen these lockers in his. <laughs> and I've been dying for the day that I find these. Um, they also had these in different colors too, but this is what they had. Uh, and these actually open up and you can put stuff in them so you could use those for um, for a high school you could use them for like a bus stop maybe a train station um, they had this this is like a folding table that you put together and it has the instructions in the back um, they had these these are it says miniature figure rack. And it says uh, small S size. Um, but it has like these little die cast cars on them. But they're they're just these single ones that you could put like that. Um, but they had six of them so I got them. And they actually look really nice if you stack them with like a brick wall like that. Um, for like a warehouse or something. Those work. Um, they had these smaller ones here. Let's see if I move the these chairs out of the way. I was really excited about the chairs. I never thought as an adult I would get excited about chairs, but you know, if you if you collect one tall skill, um and you do photography, you know how expensive some of these things are to find on uh, Etsy or you have to 3D print them or you have to um, if you go to Hobby Lobby or you go to Michael's or something like a hobby store try to look for this stuff um, it's not always guaranteed that it's 112 skill it might either be too big or too small um, these these are like uh, like kind of furniture shelving like for a living room or for like an apartment or housing um, so these are nice. You put little little knickknacks and stuff like that on those. Like see right there with Aileen. Um, and then these. These I didn't think I would find. 
either. These are 112 scale barricades, like for concerts. Um, but you can use them for crime scenes. They had them in this gray color and they had them in white. Um, I bought what they had of the gray ones, so that was six of them. And then they also had these too. Yeah, those are all the same. I wanted to make sure I didn't buy like the wrong fucking color. Uh, barricades. They had these too. These are actual working folding chairs. And you put them together. Uh, kind of like a model kit. They're on sprues. So you put them together. And as you can see up there, they actually work. So I think I got them in, they probably come in different colors, I think. Um, so if I look, yeah, these are all like blue. Um, but I think they have like black and uh, different colored ones, but folding chairs, you could use those for schools. Um, you can use them for different things. I know I was talking to Roll Keeper when I was streaming and he was looking for uh, chairs for an interrogation room. Um, so those are perfect, bud. I don't know if you end up seeing this, but yeah, if you're able to go to your Daiso, because I know he said they really want a couple of hours away from them. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, this, like I said, all this stuff was $1.75. Which is, I mean, that that's a really good deal. Stuff like this would usually cost you like 10, 12 bucks each if you got them off Etsy or um, you try to buy the shit off Macari or eBay. You know, people try to upcharge you and all that shit. Um, so, you know, $1.75, you know, for some props. You throw a couple of knickknacks on those shelves back there, throw some weapons or crates on those racks back there um you know stuff like this it works you know if you want like the full extent of um um what's it called if you want the extent of what's going on or what is hitting uh, Daisos, um, check, uh, check out my man Mock, aka Sumi Toys, on Instagram and YouTube. Um, he does occasional, like, updates of what's hitting Daiso, and he's probably the only person on YouTube that's doing it, because if you try to look up, like, um, what I'm showing you here, there isn't really anyone that's, that's doing, like, actual sit-down and showing you, like, for 112 skill stuff um what's going on it's mostly like the stationary stuff like the stickers and um stuff like that for like um uh what's it called like uh journal books and stuff like that um or like the snacks that they sell and stuff shit like that they're not really showing you what i'm showing you right now um but yeah, if you have a Daiso near you, check your Daisos, man, because we got some fucking options going on here. Um, and I know Tony Legend Series would probably shit a brick if he <laughs> was able to go to Daiso. That man would probably shit a brick if he came across stuff like this, because stuff like this would help him with his shorts. Um, and I told him... Next time I get a Daiso, you let me know what you're looking for. Um, I'll pick some stuff up for you, put it in a box, send it to you. Um, and I'll help you out. But, um, yeah, that's going to do it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you for being patient on the uh, delays for the reviews. Appreciate it. Um, I'm only human. Um... I'm uh, working as best as I can to try to get this stuff out to you guys. Because uh, I know you guys have been patient. I haven't done reviews in over a year since my hiatus. 
Um, and uh, I really do appreciate all the support and I appreciate all you beautiful people stopping in whenever I have my random goofy gaming streams or random streams or my actual Tuesday streams um, or uh, when I'm on an away game like Mython uh, you guys come and support and I, I do appreciate that very much um, and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching uh, take care of yourselves take care of others finish the fight and 112